Hi again, it's Jason Pierce from StellarNet Spectrometers. And because we're in quarantine, can wear our facial hair however we please, uh, and can't make it to our favorite conferences such as the American Chemical Society show or the Clio conference, which is going on this week, we've decided to bring you this short little clip on how to choose the best spectrometer. Spectrometer tip number one, buy rugged. You might not be putting your spectrometer on the International Space Station, although NASA has, but let's face it, it's an investment and a small electronic device. You may take it from lab to lab or want to put it in your briefcase, or you may have undergrads use it and you never know when it may get knocked around or drop. <laughs> Whoops. At StellarNet, we build all of our spectrometers with no moving parts. They're shock and vib vibration tolerant and never to lose calibration. Spectrometer tip number two, don't overpay. There are a lot of spectrometer companies out there on the market that are offering advanced features for a lot of extra cash. StellarNet has been making low cost research grade spectrometers for over 30 years. Spectrometer tip number three, choose the best optical performance. StellarNet has many different optical configurations, but our most popular is our concave grading spectrometer, the Black Comet. In this spectrometer, there is one, only one optical element, the concave grating itself. The light enters the spectrometer and has one bounce off the concave grating to the linear detector array. One bounce means less light scatter, lower stray light, and enhanced sensitivity in the UV and blue regions, as well as the far near infrared. Uh, it also reduces aberrations and provides a flat field wavefront to all the detector pixels. This means you'll have a uniform resolution across your entire spectral range. Choose the black comet uh, spectrometer for the best optical performance. Spectrometer tip number four. Choose the best detector and cooling options for your application. StellarNet offers a variety of different detector and cooling packages, but on all detectors, we apply a uniformity and sensitivity coding to the uh, detector itself. Also on spectrometers such as the Raman and Silver Nova, we have advanced cooling options. A detector cooler can be one stage or two stage, cooling the detector 15 and 30 degrees respectively. This will increase your signal to noise by over 80% at long integration times. This is great for low light applications. Spectrometer tip number five. Choose a spectrometer with great software and accessories. Because really, software is the instrument. At StellarNet, we have a variety of different software packages, but our main software is called SpectraWiz, and it's considered a Swiss army knife of spectroscopy tools. We also have a developer's toolbox with customizable source codes in just about any language you can imagine. C, C Sharp, Visual Basic, LabVIEW, MATLAB, Python, the list goes on. We also have programmers on staff that can help develop the software that you need to do the application that's right for you. Spectrometer tip number six, the last one. When choosing a spectrometer company, be sure the company has the right application support, spectroscopy knowledge, and customer service that you deserve. At StellarNet, we've been around for over 30 years and have technical sales agents in just about every country. We all prioritize helping you solve your issue using spectroscopy. Now you have all of the tips on how to choose the best spectrometer. Thanks for watching.